This is the Tara Insight channel and I am here today because we are going to figure out how many children you are likely to have. So the first portion of the reading, you are going to pick between the black and the white here, these items. And I'm going to give you a second to choose, and then I'm going to continue with your reading. All right, time's up. So if you chose the white, then drum roll, please. Then no, unless something changes, you are unlikely at this point to have children without the help of in vitro fertilization or adoption unless something changes and things change all the time as of right now if you chose the black yes yes you are likely to have children and now we shall find out how many you are likely to have. <laughs> We're having some technical difficulties here. Bear with me. Do bear with me here. All right. We're going to try this again. So, in case you can see, it's likely to be more than one, most likely three, between three and eight. And that's what's showing here. And that is the first portion of the reading that I'm doing. This portion of the reading is going to be all about if he is losing patience and what type of attitude he has about it. It could be anything, fill in the blank. Is he losing patience? And what is his attitude like about it? Does he have a... A good attitude or will, will he end up having a bad attitude? Did I mess up my nails? Okay, so you have A or B. So if you chose A, he is in a time where he has all positive energy vibes. He just wants a happy family. He just wants a happy person in his life to complete everything that's going on. And you can mix the energies. It could be vice versa. You know, feminine, masculine. So as far as patience, the personality is there. This person can deal with whether or not there's a delay on any one particular thing. It does not have to be children. It could be whatever question you have in your mind. This person has turned or will be turning his or her whole back on anyone who does not understand how much you are loved. This person, they love you. This person has looked within or will be looking within this future person. And this person has found him or herself. And that's not going to be a problem running out to find yourself. Nope, not with this person. And this person will be able to communicate all of the loving vibes that they have for you. 
So this person has a great personality and this person, even if this person is slightly impatient, you'll probably never know the difference because that's how loving this person is coming out as being. If you chose this, this person is honorable. This person has a new view and a, an ever-changing vision. I mentioned that that things change. Yes, this person, one moment may go through a phase, another moment may go through another phase. However, this person is building character with each and everything that's going on. This person is going to feel soulmate energy with you. This person knows that this is an irreplaceable type of love. Yes, this person could easily talk to this person, easily talk to that person, or with you, you could do the same thing. It's just showing up here that this person really would not want to settle for less. This person really, really, truly is going to want to be with you. This person will defend him or herself. This person will not only just defend themselves, but will defend you also. This person is on the lookout ready full of energy just for that purpose this is someone who believes in security believes in commitment believes in love this is a parental type of figure this person can baby you this person will treat you like an adult whatever it is that you're craving this person wants to be one in the same for everything and be there for you so this person is also going to be fairly patient. And if impatient, this person is still going to be ready to ride or die. If you guys are meant to be together, it's going to be very, very obvious. Extremely obvious. And that's what's coming up here. So, we've knocked out about four readings. Three or four readings. Hmm. I know when I did a um a live, nobody was really saying specifically anything. I know other readers get specific questions, but maybe maybe I didn't do my live long enough. It was it was kind of long. Um, I am willing to, you know, take on questions if you want to put them in the comment section for maybe a future reading hmm. the one i'm going to take on now is does she like you more than that other dude, the one you're thinking about, or the one where there's an X or a Y and you're going, hmm, fill in the blank, just in case. Is it me, or is it gonna have to be the highway, or whatever it is you decide. So we have two stacks. One, two. So you can go ahead and make your choice with the stacks. And what we have for this stack and for this stack. So does she like you more than that other person, more than that other guy? Well, how she feels about it is she's considering everything 
up close and personal. She's taking time out of her schedule, out of her sleep routine, whatever it is, to figure out every little pro and con of why she would choose you or the other person. So that's self-reflection. And she doesn't want to move in a reckless direction. She does want to consider, you know, if you guys are going to be on the same page as far as choices, decisions, you know, how fast you want to move, how much passion is in both of you guys' mindsets and hearts. So she's thinking about all of that. And then she's thinking about the the way she has already, already thought she wanted to go. Before she even took time out to make sure this is going to be something that is deep. Because she's always wanted what she's going to choose. She's always wanted it deep within her heart. Even the times when she was in denial, that's what I'm gathering here. If you chose this stack, she wants someone who is going to help her feel stress-free. She doesn't want to stress anyone else out, and she is not feeling any of that stress coming at her either. Not at all. So if there's any stress that is going to be processed, then that is where she's going to be drawing the line. That's where she's going to be saying, no, I think I better make another choice because this is going to be a stress-filled choice. This one, she's loyal. That's where she's, she's looking to be loyal. She wants to express this loyalty somewhere where it's going to be appreciated, where it's going to be mirrored back to her. And if it's an open relationship and she feels that she's going into that and she wants you back, guess what? She is still going to reflect that back with you, even though she wants loyalty. If there is an opening and you both agree, she's going to reflect that too. And she does feel that these vibrations are solid vibrations and that's why she can go whichever way you want to go. And she can do a flip-flop. And show you that someone else is out there who's going to want to be with her. So to unveil the answers, here we are. If you chose one, it's no. If you chose two, it's yes. And that's your answer.